Cliff to save you will be amazed with couponing crystal. Hey lovely people, Coupon and Crystal here with my Walmart and Harris Teeter I bought a haul. Y'all know I'm trying to get those rebates so I can get those levels and get that weekend warrior bonus of three dollars. That's right. <laughs> First, I went to Walmart, lovely people, and I decided to do the Bounty Essentials, the paper towels. They were priced at $5.74 in my store. I did have a $1coupon.com coupon that I used, and there was a $1 I bought a rebate. Some people I've seen saying they had a $2, but I only had $1, making the final cost be $3.74 for Six rolls of paper towels. I'm good with that. Yep. Because I'm I'm getting low. Look, y'all. I'm getting low on paper back there. It's looking sad. <laughs> so, that was my bounty. The next thing I got at Walmart. Something that I've been looking for. I've been looking for these little Debbies, okay? Look at those. Ooh, they look good. These were priced at $2.98 in my store. I had that 75 cent coupon that was in the 513 retail me not. And then there was a 75 cent I bought a rebate, making the final cost be $1.48. And don't forget to look in the description box of this video. I'm gonna leave a list of all the coupons and the rebate amounts and where I got the coupons from. That way you can screenshot it on your phone and take it with you when you go shopping. That's right. Next, what I got from Walmart, I got this product, which was the All Fabric Softener. This is the Free and Clear. I don't think I've ever tried this one before. I've tried the detergent, but I don't think I've tried the Fabric Softener. So this was priced at $3.97 in my store. There was a $1 coupon, and it was in the Retail Me Not 6-3 recent insert, dollar rebate, making the final cost be $1.97 for 60 loads of fabric softener. I think that's pretty good. Next. Next, let me just tell you this one. I don't have it to show, which was the Yo Plate Mix-Ins. It has a $1 I bought a rebate and it was priced at $1 in my store. I had a coupon that was off of coupons.com and I think it was a 40 cent coupon for some reason. My coupon did not scan. So I told her to take it off. Not even realizing, go on and do it, nut. Because the rebate is for a dollar. It still would have been free regardless of the coupon. The coupon would have just made it be a money maker. Made me have a little overage. But it was all right. So I just told her to take it off. Well, she took it off. But apparently, because it had been on the receipt, when I uploaded my receipt, it gave me credit for it anyway, lovely people. So... I don't have that product to show because I didn't technically purchase it, <laughs> okay? Next, I did get this product, which I've never tried before, which is the Stubbs a Barbecue Sauce. This one was priced at $2.17 in my store. I had no coupon for this one, but it had a $1 I bought a rebate, making it be a $1.17 final cost. Now, one thing I did notice is that they had different flavors, and the different flavors vary in price. They, it's a little bit different uh, by a few cents, okay? So pay attention to that if you get Get this product it could be that way in your walmart next i got the colgate enamel health toothpaste okay this product was priced at three dollars and 48 cent in my walmart i use that one dollar insert coupon that was in the six three smart source and then it gave me back a dollar fifty i bought a rebate making the final cost be 98 cent for the toothpaste then I did the Suave. I did the Suave Men's Body Wash, okay? It was priced at $1.88 in my store. I did not have a coupon. It had a $1 I bought a rebate, making the final cost be $0.88. Cent. Body Wash. Next, <laughs> I did the Colgate. 
Now, no, if you guys watch me on a regular, you see, Christy, you're doing the same rebates. That's right. I'm going to do the same rebates because if I have the coupons and it's products that I like and it's products that I use, I'm going to continue to just do it again because it's good in price. If it's taking it down, this is my, this is my little, this is my little logic when doing the rebates. If it's taking it down to half price and lower, mm, I'm good with that. I'm definitely gonna do that. <laughs> the mouthwash was $3.57. A $1 coupon was in that same 6-3 smart source, a $2 rebate. So the cost was 57 cents after coupons and rebates. That's a good deal, lovely people. Now, this yogurt, the little, I think it's Faye. Am I saying that right? Crossovers. This one is a lemon and bread, cr uh, short bread crumble, okay? It has it like separated and you have one on one side and the yogurt on one side. I think that's going to be tasty, okay, for my husband. Because y'all know all I like is Yo Crunch. <laughs> so this one was priced at $1.16, no coupon, 75 cent rebate, 41 cent final cost. Good deal. Now we're going to move on to the Harris Teeter Hall. But first, let me show you something that was a clearance item that I found at Walmart and I was pretty delighted about it. I hope you guys can find some in your clearance section of your Walmart. Yes, they had the Glade Warm Flannel Embrace. It's fern, sandalwood, and cardamom. What is cardamom? Do y'all know what that is? C-A-R-D-A-M-O-M. -M. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's some type of plant. But I like it. I like sandalwood. <clears throat> That's why. So these were priced at $2. They were on clearance for $2. I used that Glade coupon that was $3 off of two. That was in the 520 Smart Source. Making these be two for a dollar that's a great deal i was excited about my little clearance i had to call to marianne be like marianne let me tell you what they got <laughs> let's move on to harris teeter all right harris teeter this week i had to go back again i've been getting these and getting these and i'm gonna keep on getting them because they are on sale this is a better price than walmart so I had to do this rebate. Y'all got to you got to look at that when you're doing the rebates. You may have this product on Harris Teeter and you may have it on Walmart, but you're going to do it at the store that's giving you the best price, okay? Now, these are on sale this week at Harris Teeter, two for $3. So they are $1.50 for one. I did not have a coupon, but there is a $1 I bought a rebate, making the cost for this protein drink 50 cent which is awesome. It's really good. Good deal. Now, the Cottonelle wipes were $2.69 at my Harris Teeter. There is a 75 cent insert coupon that was contained in the 610 Smart Source. That is 75 cents. It's going to double to $1.50. Then we have that 75 cent I bought a rebate, making the final cost be 44 cent. Now, let me remind you of this. At Harris Teeter this week in my store, this one in the container is on sale two for five. But when I went back, of course, they were out of these. So I had to get the $2.69 one. Now, sometimes you can go to Walmart and this product, they'll be cheaper at Walmart, but because of the fact we have the 75 cent coupon that will double at Harris Teeter, it's a better deal to do it at Harris Teeter. Keep that in mind when you're doing your rebates. Next, lovely people, I did the World Cuisine Saffron Road, okay? This product, I did it yesterday, remember? I did it yesterday, I got another flavor. They're $4.99, but they're on sale this week for $3.99. Yesterday, I used a Evic digital coupon that clips to my card, taking off an additional dollar. 
Well, it was already clipped. I used it yesterday. I guess I can't use it again. I don't know, because I don't use digital coupons. Cashier wasn't sure. It didn't come off, lovely people. But she was kind enough to take off a dollar for me, which didn't hurt my feelings. I was good with that, but I will be calling customer service tomorrow to find out the correct way because I don't want to be telling you guys wrong for the digital coupons. If you know, lovely people, let me know in the comments below of the video if how does it work. If you clip your coupon on your app, your Harris Teeter app to connect to your card, if you use it one time, can you use it again later or is it just one time, a one and done type of deal? Let me know. So, these were $1.99 after the dollar she took off and after $1 I bought a rebate. $1.99. But because I bought one of these yesterday and I bought one today, it had a 50 cent bonus. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good deal. My last product, lovely people, was another one of those yogurts, but this one is actually called the Total, okay? This one has a little section too, sectioned off, okay? This one is the mango flavor, pretty good ounce, 5.3 ounce container. This was priced at 10 for 10 in my Harris Teeter, so it was a dollar each. It did not stipulate you having to buy all 10, so it did ring up individually as a dollar. There is a 75 cent I bought a rebate, making the final cost be 25 cent for this yogurt. That's great, great deal. That was all my rebates, lovely people. Let's get to the money, okay? Okay, lovely people. Now, what I actually paid for all those 12 rebates was $26.88 but I had $18.50 worth of rebates, bonuses, hitting my level. That was $18.50 that came back in my pocket, making my end cost of all those items $8.38. I got 12 items for $8.38. That's less than a dollar an item. That's like, what, 69 cents? An item which is crazy i got that bounty basic essentials of the bounty i got those bounty paper towels for 69 cent that's crazy lovely people i'm telling you that is the reason why i like ibotta <laughs> make sure that you click on the description box so you can find out all the coupons and the rebate amounts screenshot it on your phone go to the store and get these deals lovely people okay lovely people what i wanted to tell you guys was is i noticed while i was in the store that the evig item with harris teeter tomorrow is the enlightened ice cream i think i'm saying it right here's the picture see what it looks like there is a dollar fifty i bought a rebate Click it in your Ibotta app. Make sure you don't wait to the end of the day to go get that ice cream because it's surely to get gone. It's free ice cream. <laughs> Remember, click to save and you will be amazed. Bye-bye.